Well, we got the world-famous Raw report to do here. You can tell me what was and was not on the show last night, Tom. Open up with Drew McIntyre in the ring. And he does this long promo about how, you know what, I thought about leaving after I lost to Seth, but it wasn't my fault. This Damian Priest tried to cash in because he's an idiot. Why would you do that during the match, he said. You should have waited till afterwards. You might have actually won, but instead you screwed yourself and me. Maybe I should leave and come back in nine years and be a hero, he says. So out comes Punk. And he says, what do you want to say? So Drew says, well, you know, got to bet with some guys in the back. You're going to crash and burn, self-destruct, cost a lot of people a lot of money. Maybe you and Seth have a lot in common. He says, I traveled with you for years. I know the real Punk. I know what you're really like. There was a time where I needed a leader. And you walked around calling yourself the locker room leader. But you were afraid. You saw me as a threat. And I never got no help from you. Punk said, he claimed, I've called myself a lot of things in life, but a leader was never one of them, he said. I lead by example. He said, you follow my lead on the way out, I'll follow your lead on the way back in. Going to win the Rumble, main event mania. You're upset, just like Seth. He says, I can be Satan himself. If you're one of the people who saw that side of me, that says more about you than it does about me, he says. Because I'm a nice guy until it's time not to be. And since it's looking to be that time, I'm out of here. Who writes these promos? This guy deserves an award. So Drew says, I've won the Rumble. I've main evented Mania, something you've never done. You know, this place shut down. They needed somebody to step up. I did it. If you'd been around, you would have left too. When the going gets tough, Punk gets going. In the Rumble, I'm going to eliminate you. I'm going to go back to the main event of WrestleMania, win the title in front of fans, and this time it'll be for me. The place goes nuts cheering for Drew. Punk says, I'm going to lead by example and walk away before I knock your teeth down your throat. There's only one person that can stop me, says CM Punk. That's me. I got out of my own way a long time ago. I was dying during this promo. Nobody can stop me from winning the Rumble. And leader to leader, because I'm a nice guy. If only he had muffins. That would have made this thing even better. Some ice cream bars. About to throw them out last. That was something else, that promo right there. That was something else. Then we had uh, Ciampa and Finn Balor. And Ciampa, of course, cuts a uh, promo saying that it's a must-win for them. So they had a good match. Priest tried to interfere. Gargano took him out. They double-teamed him. Finn tried to suplex in from the apron. It was Bobby Heenan and Ultimate Warrior grabbing the foot, fall on top, one, two, three, Ciampa wins. And so uh, I don't know what the heck's going to happen. I think they're going to get a title shot at some point, but I don't think it's next week. They pushed that on commentary as well. So I would have, and Rhea brought it up backstage. Well, it's weird how they do uh, this thing in WWE now. It's like you win a non-title match or whatever, you don't necessarily get a title match. They'll this is a singles point. contest. Well, sure, but you beat one half of the tag team champions, brah. Should get something out of that, right? I think so. Becky did a promo. She said, Nia told me to imagine what would happen if she put her full weight behind that punch. Well, she did. And she bloodied my mouth. She beat me. But I didn't go to the hospital. I declared for the rumble. And the last time you punched me, I went to the hospital... But I did come back to win the Rumble. I'm stronger now, or maybe you're weaker. One way or another, I'm going to win the Rumble. Ludwig Kaiser and Kofi Kingston. So Vinci's hurt. He got uh, concussed. He'll be out a while. That was last week. So Ludwig wants revenge. And they had a match. Stupid finish. They're they're going to do a double countout. But like at nine, Kofi dives into the ring. And his entire upper body is in the ring. Which in every other match, and they do this all the time now because they got it from New Japan, that breaks the count. But this guy slides halfway to the ring and the ref goes, nah, double count out. And Kobe says, what? What are you talking about? And so he dives onto Kaiser. They have a brawl. And then Kaiser throws a chair at him, beats him up, running drop kick, puts his head into the steps. 
and he does a promo backstage saying, it's Kofi's fault that I'm the only one here right now. I'm carrying the weight of Imperium. He took Vinci's head, so I took his. So poor Kofi looks like he'll be out of action. Probably to the Rumble. When he'll try to do another wacky stunt. and I think we've learned our lesson about that one, haven't we? Uh, Brian, I'd like to take a moment if I could. Yes, Tom. Since everyone else is doing it as well, I declare for the Royal Rumble. Great! I, I have officially declared myself as a... I'm Somebody to put on the front page, <laughs> Filthy Tom Law War has declared for the Royal Rumble. Bring your license, Tom. Bring your license so they can confirm that you're Filthy Tom Law War. And we had Cole interviewing Naya. said, I'm not uh, shocked by what happened last week. Of course I, I beat Becky. And I'm going to throw out 29 women win the Rumble. So Rhea comes out. And Rhea says, you talk a big game, but you know what happened last year in the Rumble? I threw you out. You beat Becky, which is great, but Becky isn't Rhea. So if you want to step up to me, go for it. Otherwise, stop walking around like you own the division. Because you don't. So Nia says, I'll give you credit. Might be the most dominant champion in history. But I put you on your butt when I came back. You're too scared to face me one-on-one. When I win the Rumble, I will choose you. I can't wait for that one at WrestleMania. That one, Australia, everybody. They can get that big match. Cody promo, he gets attacked by Shinsuke. Then we had Chelsea and Piper versus Katana and Caden. Tag title rematch. Too bad Mike's not on the show to tell us how much Caden and Katana suck. I thought they were good in this match. It's the finish, that keg stand. What is that thing? It's a keg stand. She has a handstand on her buddy's shoulders and falls into a splash. It's she not her landed, fault Chelsea was in oh Indiana. My, she landed knees to Chelsea. Yeah, she was so freaking far away. She She's was try- totally in the wrong spot. That was Chelsea's fault. 100%. What are you talking about, Tom? Oh, did you and I ever do that move? Should have. Maybe we would have actually won a match. Anyway, I thought this match was good. It was way better than the first match they had. A lot of cool spots. Super Hurricane Rana. Yeah. A Hurricane Rana off of Caden's shoulders to Chelsea on the top rope. That was death-defying. You know, my new favorite thing in wrestling is when people do spots off someone else's shoulders who's the same height as the top rope or lower. It's like we saw it in, uh, what match was that? I just saw it. Somebody did like a superplex off somebody's shoulders, but like the person was as tall as the top rope, so it was the exact same height, but people still marked out. And then this one here, it's like Caden's shorter than the top rope, and Katana did that super Frankenstein, and people went nuts. Brian Keith, that's who it was, yeah. But anyway, I like this match. It's about the illusion. It was Brian. an illusion, all right. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but it's a work. The problem is I do know that, so the illusion is like, that's not impressive. Come on. Caden Carter's like 4-3. That's much lower than the top rope. And we had a truth video package about his life in the Judgment Day. You know, Judgment Day is a hot faction. And Truth came back, and he started doing all this goofy stuff. And at first I was like, oh, God, do we really need this? Like, let's do it for a week and, like, get it over with. Do some stupid comedy somewhere else. But they've now been doing it for like three or four weeks, and the fans are eating it up. They are so into truth as a member of the Judgment Day. Also because they hate JD. But uh, And they love The Miz. No, stop. So well, Are you are you going to say well, that the they, crowd did not love The they, Miz they here? They were in The Miz tonight. I don't know what's wrong with them. So, uh, yeah, Truth does this segment, and then they cut back to the Judgment Day, and JD's furious, and, and Priest is laughing. He goes, I kind of admit that's pretty good. And so Rhea's not happy. So we got to give up on this thing. And Priest says, when the time comes, I'll take care of it. So they get an argument about Drew. And Rhea once again says, we don't want Drew on our bad side. And he says, well, we don't want Nia on our bad side. So Rhea says, I'll take care of her. JD, you got to take care of The Miz. So it's JD and The Miz. And I think that The Miz, because he's like getting a lot more TV time now, like he's got some motivation because he's like, 
He's trying, but everything he does still looks terrible, but he's trying. And the fans, you know, they cheer him and everything. It just blows my mind. The Miz is a baby face. It's like, okay. So uh, Miz drop kicked him in a dom, threw him in the ring, skull-crushing finale. Miz pins JD. So now Judgment Day, they're furious, and Finn says, listen, this has got to end. And Priest says, yes, it does. We had a long Seth promo. We They were expecting, like, loud CM Punk chants, and they barely got any. You could you could sort of kind of hear it. And so he had to acknowledge, and he goes, in his dreams. So that's clearly the Mania match, but the fans, they don't seem to be that into it right now. So suddenly out comes Jinder Mahal. And, uh, yes, there is a World Championship match on Raw next week. It is Seth Rollins against Jinder Mahal. Huh. Okay. All right. You think Jinder's winning? No. Are you nuts? We had a great little battle. It was a big battle. Otis and Ivar. Oh, this was not on the Hulu version. Oh, God. You can't fit this kind of battle into 90 minutes, I guess. Dude, this rule. The crowd's chanting meat. They're pummeling each other. This giant, this giant Ivar tries a middle rope springboard high cross. Otis catches him, crushes him with the world's strongest slam. Then Otis goes up top. Ivar goes underneath him, running a Liger bomb. Crushes him. And then Otis hits the roll. He hits the big lariat. He shakes his hips. You saw me do that. He goes for the caterpillar. He hits it. But then they have a striking battle, and it's a good one. Ivar spin kick goes up top. Moonsault pin. Well, you know why? Because Ivar spent the weekend at Cannon Beach eating at Susie Scoops. And he was all carved up and ready to go, brother. I loved it. Jey Uso promo. He gets challenged by Bronson Reed. Then the main event was Cody, Shinsuke, Street Fight. 25-minute match. It was a very good match. Crowd wanted tables. You know how these crowds are. So, of course, Cody gets the table. We had nunchucks. And then uh, Nakamura, he tries to blow miss, but he hits... Our timekeeper, Berkeley. This is my new favorite name, Berkeley. Which turns out, Berkeley is Cody's cousin. So Cody's very concerned. He goes to get help. And so they, they fight some more. And then Nakamura hits the sliding German jumping knee. Cody hits a super kick out of nowhere. Pedigree. Cody Cutter. Nakamura fights back. Goes for the running knee. Cody avoids it. Through the table. On the outside, Berkeley laughs. Ha ha! He got his. And then Cody hits a crossroads, gets the pin. Very good main event. Very good main event. Looks like the feud is over for now. Good raw. Good raw. And all the best to Berkeley. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.